Hey, what's going on, Scorpios? Hope you all had a, a great holidays. You know, I hope you, you know, I hope you surround yourself with people that cared about you and that you care about. And now, it's time to get back to business. <laughs> um, I'm going to do your January read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross-watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. And with all that being said, let's get it. There was what we have for Scorpio. For January 2023. Almost at 2023. What's going on for Scorpios? Scorpios. So the first thing I see is I feel like this is someone from your past. This is someone I feel like it didn't end well with this person. You know, we had that tower moment. I feel like, you know, there was a lot of clashing, a lot of chaos, and then they just went cold. They just disappeared. They ghosted you. You know, and I feel like there wasn't a lot of closure. You know, I feel like there's a lot of unanswered questions when it came to that. When the situation occurred, I feel like we're still in the back of our minds, still wondering whatever happened. Like, how did it go so wrong? And what I see here is I feel like this person was looking at the negatives instead of the positives. You know, I, I feel like they rushed in and they felt like they got in over their head. You know, they made an offer, but I feel it was very mature. You know, it was very not thought out at all. And I feel like they started to look at the negatives instead of the positives. You know, I feel like they stopped giving to the situation. You know, it almost felt like they can never get to where you needed them to be. That's This is how they felt. They felt like they couldn't get to where you needed to be. So it's almost like, why try? And then the self-sabotaging energy started. And that's when things started to fall apart. Because this person not only gave up, but they started to fight it. There's one thing of giving up. You know, just saying, I can't do this, give up. There's another thing to start fighting it. And there was a lot of fighting. You know, they were fighting every every inch of this. But no matter how hard it seemed, you know, I feel like this person put way too much on this. You know, I feel like this person, you know, they there was a fight for control. You know, it's almost like they, if they couldn't control it, they didn't want to be part of it. And they felt like they weren't as good as you thought they were. You know, very low self-esteem with this person. I feel like they were in a very low place. But that's not who they really were. They never showed you who they really were. And I feel like that's the biggest regret that they have. You know, like I said, with that closed off energy... Um, you know, started to go cold even before the chaos started. And then they just, you know, shut you out. And it felt like you were being shut out. And they spent way too much time in their head. You know, sometimes we talk ourselves out of relationships that we shouldn't talk ourselves out of. Sometimes our worst enemy is ourselves. And that's what I see here. I feel like their worst enemy was them. You know, it, some people... When they get into a good situation, when everything's going good, they're always waiting for that, that shoe to drop. And sometimes they initiate it. 
And I feel like that's what made this fall apart. Now, what I do see is that I, I don't feel like there's complete closure to this because I don't feel like, I feel like it's not done. I feel like this person needed to grow. I feel like this person needed to mature. And I feel like this person has done those things. I see a huge transformation. I see this person seeing things in a completely different perspective. You know, this person doesn't want anybody else but you. There's no other options as far as they, they're concerned. So if you thought this person forgot about you, you're wrong. They only think about you. The feelings they have for you were very real. And they're unable to walk away from it. They still hold on to that memory. Now, I do see this person coming back, and I do see this person coming back. I, I feel like it's coming out of the blue. You know, that magician energy coming seemingly out of nowhere. And I feel like this person... I don't think this person's going to come back and try to get with you right away. I feel like this person's going to come back and try to mend what, was, what they broke. You know, they're going to try to establish trust with you. They're going to try to prove to you that you can trust them. That is not, they're not the same person. You know, the, the the characteristics that you liked about this person, they're still there. But in a more confident frame, if that makes sense. You know, they're coming back. And I feel like, like I said, they're coming back with the best intentions. They're coming back to nurture this connection. They're coming back... They don't want to just jump back into it. They want to prove to you. They don't want you to have any doubts. You know, there's a very protective energy with this person. Something I don't feel like you felt before. Like I said, when they come back, it is going to be something different. You know, I feel like this person is getting to the point where they're hitting their, that higher level. You know, I feel like you were on different levels before. And I feel like they weren't entirely wrong. Thinking that they might not be able to live up to what you wanted. You know? But I, I feel like they were wrong in the way they went about it. And I feel like they know that. You know, there's a very nurturing energy they felt from you. With that empress. You know, that emperor, empress energy. You know, two peas in a pod. Very, very deep connection that you share with this person. And, and, it, and it goes much deeper than you even know because it's not over yet. You know, it's only just begun. This person wasn't there. They weren't on your level yet. But I, from what I can see, I feel like they, they're, they're getting there. They're trying. They're very hardest. I mean, they want to be with you. You know, I feel like you're finally on the same page with that Seven of Pentacles. And I feel like... When you're not on the same page, don't put in the work to get there. You know, I don't feel like this person ha has any intentions of quitting this again or giving up again. This is something that this person has realized that they have to work for. They have to earn it. And make them earn it, you know? Like I said, this person only thinks about you. There's nobody else for them. You know, sometimes, and I'm not giving them an out here, but sometimes when we're in a very low point in our life, everything that seems too good to be true generally feels like it is. You know, when things start going wrong in your life, you know, you become whatever. You know, you lose your job or you get demoted or... You know, you get in tough financial state, you know, when you're having issues with other people, family members, etc. When those type of things happen to some people, sometimes it feels like everything that they have that's special is got an expiration date on it. And sometimes it's hard to hold on to it. Sometimes it's, you know, sometimes people believe in their head. That it's easier to walk away than to be there in the moment that the other person walks away. 
But like I said, this person is seeing things in a whole new perspective. You know, they're letting go of a lot of old bullshit that did not do them any good. And I feel like it's, it, it's solely because I feel like this person is very, is feeling very good about themselves. They're feeling very confident. They know what they want and they're going after it. You know, letting go of all that bullshit with the devil card. Letting go of the burden, breaking yourself free of that chains. You know, wanting to move forward authentically. You know, and I feel like this person is doing a lot better stability-wise as well. You know, I feel like I said, they know what they want and they're going after it. You know, sometimes even when we know what we want, we don't know what to do with it. But like I said, I feel like they, they, they figured it out. You will get what you want from this person. What you expect to get from before you will get. You know, we have the sun card. And like I said, this person's putting in a lot of work to make things right. You know, I, I'm not going to tell you what to do. But one thing I am saying, I'm going to say because I, I, I really feel like you really need to hear it. You don't have to accept their apology. You don't have to forgive them. And you don't have to take them back. But I feel like you should you should hear them out. You know, this person has something to say. And it comes from the heart. And it has a lot of meaning behind it. It doesn't mean you have to take, you know... Before you say no, just listen. Just watch. Let them do the work. You know, and with this, you know, I see new stability. You know, with this, we have the, the King of Cups. I feel like they're making you a mature offer. At the end of all this, they have, they, there is something that they want from you. They want a second chance. Do they deserve it? That's for you to decide. But they are authentically coming back, and I do feel like they're, you know, they're in a better place than they were. The problem is, I feel like in the past, even when they were in that bad place, I feel like they, they couldn't tell you, and I feel like that's one of the things that this person has worked on. You know, they didn't want to let you down. They didn't want to disappoint you, but they also didn't give you the benefit of the doubt. You know, they didn't give you access to them. When you're with someone, if you're not giving them 100% access, I don't know what you're doing. You know, with me and Rose, it's, we tell each other everything. And sometimes it's not shit we want to hear. But at least we know we're always honest. And that's why it works. Because there's no bullshit, there's no games, there's no hidden agendas, there's no, there's no lies, there's no deceit. You know, and, and, and in, in a situation like that, at the end of the day, when, you know, we get to that moment where we either move forward or we don't in life with, when, with the person that we're with, it comes down to, if it wasn't meant to be, it wasn't meant to be. You know, if your honesty, you know, doesn't work for the other person anymore, at least we can be honest about it. We feel open about that. But this person isn't done with you. They're just getting started. And like I said, I do see a different side of this person coming out. A more nurturing side, a more giving side, a more, you know, just going with the flow type energy instead of trying to control everything. I feel like there's a very controlling energy sense to this person that you know sometimes when we feel like we lo we're losing control we feel like that's a bad thing but from my experience that's not a bad thing that just means you're where you're supposed to be now with this person we have Capricorn Virgo Taurus Cancer Pisces Scorpio Gemini Libra and Aquarius there may be a little fire in there as well, but, you know, I, I do feel. I 
I do feel very authentic energy coming from this person. You know, sometimes people make mistakes and they don't realize it. And then they try to apologize for it, even though they don't really know what they did. This person knows what they did. They authentically know what they did wrong. And now they're coming back to make it right. And like I said, when they come back, I don't, you know, don't look for this person to be overly pushy. I feel like they're going to take their time. They want you to know that you can trust them. They know that, that they owe you that. And at the end of the day, if you don't accept what they have to say, at least they know they put it all out there. Something that they weren't willing to do before. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.